Community Researchers and Guests. My name is Rondi Raymond. This past summer we worked with invasive species, and particularly Securium incivis, plainly known as chicory. Invasive species, I'm pretty sure you all heard of, can be very detrimental to agricultural fields and natural habitats. Chicory is native to the Mediterranean region of Europe and was introduced into the United States. First records of this is Thomas Jefferson importing this to his beloved Monticello mansion. So we're going to focus this morning on two scenarios. The first scenario is scenario one, single introduction. In single introduction, species, the species trickery is introduced into, say, Virginia, and then spreads into neighboring populations, into New England, into the south, and slowly moves out west. In this scenario, populations neighboring each other or adjacent to one another would expect to be genetically similar to one another. And as you can conclude here, you can see at the bottom, similar to one another because of proximity. Now we'd like to focus on our second scenario. And our second scenario is multiple introductions. Like I said, chicory are native to Europe in multiple introductions. We could have a bottleneck effect up to here to San Francisco, here to Massachusetts. Depending on how similar the sources are, these two populations could be very same, very, very likely to be the same if they're from the same source. If they're from different sources, we could expect them to be different. And then they will spread out to the neighboring populations and so forth and so on. Now, what I just displayed here is how the invasion history of a species can influence population diversity and structure. <coughs> but this summer, what I've tried to do is try to reverse engineer the problem. So to try to look into how population diversity and structure can tell us about the invasion history of the species. Now, how we went about doing this, we went about collecting samples from New England, Massachusetts, from New England, Massachusetts, and Massachusetts went to Cambridge, Martha's Vineyard, um, Boston. We even had samples out from the Midwest, courtesy of my mentor, Thomas Savada. And we even had species imported from Europe. And what we did, we extracted DNA, we did um, PCR amplifying microsatellite regions. Microsatellites are simple sequence repeats in the region of DNA. After that, we did gel electrophoresis to check to see that the PCR was actually successful, followed by fragment <coughs> analysis, which allowed us to score this on a software called Peak Scanner. On Peak Scanner, it works as follows. The x-axis represents the size of microsatellites in base pairs. The y-axis represents the amount of product taken up during PCR. This right here, less than 130 base pairs, we ignore that. We like to call that noise. As we can see here, we have two peaks. You can imagine this being heterozygosity, this being big A, this being little A, and we score two big A's, so homozygosity. What this basically tells us is when we further analyze this into a program called structure, this is how structure works before I go on further. Structure groups individuals based on alleles they have in common. So with that being said, we have populations from North America and Europe. Colors the colors indicate genetic similarities. Um, the columns is individuals. We had 93 individuals in total. Populations from Boston, Cambridge, Martha's Vineyard, St. Louis, Germany, and Greece. As we can see, Greece and Germany tend to seem different from each other in terms of genotype. But what's more interesting is in a local population in Boston and in Cambridge, Boston seems to vary a bit, but is different from its neighboring Cambridge. What this indicates is that there were two different sources brought into Boston, one di one, two different sources, one into Boston, one into Cambridge. And this points to our second scenario of multiple introductions. So with that being said, we kind of know where we want to head into this. We know that there were multiple introductions of chicory into the United States, and we will further analyze and see more into the problem. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
similar to St. Louis. 